Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? And what we have here, which is 8 raised to the power x minus 2 equals to 36. Yeah, this follows when we have a raised to the power m minus n, which is the same thing as a raised to the power m over a raised to the power n. But this, here we can write this as 8 raised to the power x over 8 square and equals to 36 from here. The next step we can also write this as 8 raised to the power x over 8 square that's 64 then equals to here we can write this as 36 over 1. Then when we cross multiply here 8 raised to the power x times 1 will give us 8 raised to the power x then equals to 36 times 64 from here then with what we have now we can take the log on both sides and we have log 8 raised to the power x equals to log 36 times 64 and from here we apply the power law of logarithm when we have log m raised to the power p which is equals to p log m then what we have here becomes x log 8 equals to log 36 times 64. Then next step here, we divide both sides by log 8. Divide this side by log 8. Also divide this side by log 8. Then here log 8 cancelled each other and we have x left which is equals to log 36 times 64 then over log 8 and what we have here follows the law of log n. when we have log a times b here this can be written as log a plus log b that is here we have x equals to log 36 plus log 64 then over log 8. That is from here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 36 over log 8 then plus log 64 over log 8 that is next step here we can write 64 as 8 times 8 which is 8 squared and we have x equals to log 36 over log 8 plus log 8 square over log 8 and also here we apply the power law of logarithm from when we have log m raised to power p which is p log m 2 comes here and what we have becomes x equals to log 36 over log 8 then plus here we have 2 log 8 over log 8 and from here we have log 8 cancel each other we have two left that is x now equals to log 36 over log 8 plus 2 here then next step we can write 36 as 4 times 9 then we have x now equals to log 4 times 9 over log 8 then plus 2 here also here yeah, this follows the law of logarithm and we can write it as x equals to log 4 plus log 9 over log 8 plus 2 here then 
we separate this also into two fractions and we have x equals to log 4 over log 8 plus log 9 over log 8 plus 2 here that is we can rewrite 4 as 2 times 2 which is 2 square also 8 as 2 times 2 times 2 which is 2 raised to power 3 and 9 as 3 times 3 which is 3 squared then what we have becomes x equals to log 2 square over log 2 cube and plus here we have log 3 square over log 2 cube plus 2 here that is what we have becomes x equals to 2 log 2 over here we have 3 log 2 plus here we have 2 log 3 then over 3 log 2 plus 2 here then from here log 2 comes to each other we have 2 over 3 left that is x equals to 2 over 3 plus here we can write these two first then plus here we have 2 over 3 multiplied by log 3 over log 2 and from here as well we can apply change of this when we have log a over log b we can write this as log a to base b then here what we have becomes x equals to 3 2 over 3 plus 2 here becomes 8 over 3 then plus 2 over 3 log 3 base 2 now and since here 3 is common so we can write as x equals to 8 plus 2 log 3 base 2 then over 3 so here we have the value of x as 8 plus 2 log 3 base 2 all over 3 now let's check if this satisfies this given problem that is we substitute the value of x here which is x equals to 8 plus 2 log 3 base 2 over 3 and what we have becomes 8 raised to power 8 plus 2 log 3 base 2 all over 3 minus 2 here is equal to 36 on this side then from what we have here we can bring this part together and the SCM here will be 3 then we still have 8 plus 2 log 3 base 2 then this will be minus 6 now then is equal to 36 from here that is we can bring 8 minus 6 together that's 2 so we have 8 raised to power 2 plus 2 log 3 base 2 then over 3 here is equal to 36 on this side that is from here we can write 8 as 2 raised to power 3 which is raised to power 2 plus 2 log 3 base 2 is equal to 36 from here we have over 3 here and this power multiplies so 3 here comes to each other then what we have becomes 2 raised to power 2 plus 2 log 3 base 2 is equal to 36 on this side that is here yeah, follows when we have a raised to power m plus n which is same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n that is here we have 2 raised to power 2 times 2 raised to power 2 log 3 base 2 is equal to 36 from here and 2 square here that's 4 then times here we can reverse this from power law and we have 2 raised to power log 3 square base 2 is equal to 36 here 
and this is the same thing as all times 2 raised to power log 3 squared that's 9 this 2 is equals to 36 here then what we have here follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a which is the same thing as b that this here we have 9 so 4 times 9 here is equals to 36 here of course 4 times 9 here is 36 which is equals to 36 on this side left hand side equals to the right hand side hence from here we conclude that x equals to 8 plus 2 log 3 base 2 all over 3 satisfies this given problem and thank you for watching us here at master t math class don't forget this step subscribe for more videos turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comment see you next class and bye now for now